Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Altamar. I thought since last week was Earth Day, we'd do a craft using some recycled things. The supplies you're gonna need are paint. I chose blue and yellow, but you can choose whatever color you want. Markers or crayons. Paper, the toilet paper roll, which we're gonna make into paint brushes. Some scissors, a paper plate for your paints, and a Q-tip. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our paint brushes. We're gonna take our scissors very carefully, point it to the sky, and trim triangles into our paintbrush. We don't wanna go all the way down, just enough to make it look like a flower. And then we're gonna bend them back, just like this. And then hopefully, when we push it down into our picture, it'll turn out like a flower, okay? So you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. Every flower is gonna be beautiful. So this one's gonna be our bigger flower. And then this one, we're gonna make a lot of tiny cuts all the way around. You can go as far down as you want. You can stop whenever you want. It's your flower. I'm going to go all the way around, cutting halfway down my toilet paper roll. And then I'm going to kind of bend them back a little bit, and you'll see they're starting to look kind of like a flower. You can push it down to kind of make sure that it's going to be flat. And the same thing for this one. The next thing you want to do is get your paper. You can either do your picture a long way or across. Here's one long, here's one across. The first thing you need is your green marker, because stems are green. I'm going to do my picture a long way. So I'm going to take my marker or my crayon, I'm going to draw a stem. Remember, a stem is just a long, straight line. And I'm going to draw another one for my other flower. You can do as many flowers as you want. Now to draw the leaves, it's only just a triangle almost. Again, any way you want. And you can color it in. You can also draw the sun, clouds, anything you want to. And I'm gonna take my paint and I'm gonna put it on the paper plate. Remember, any color paint you have at your house is good. I happen to have yellow and blue, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then you're gonna take your paintbrush that you made out of recycled things and put it in the paint and swirl it around. Really make sure the paint gets on every petal. See how mine's getting on every petal and I'm making sure because we only wanna do this once. So we wanna make sure it's on every petal. Then you're gonna pick whichever one you want, press it down, And when you lift it up, you're gonna have a flower. Now the reason we have the Q-tip is because I like to go back in and do some dots on my flowers and make it kind of look like seeds in the flowers, like a sunflower. And then I'm gonna take my other paper towel or toilet paper roll, whichever one you have, and use it to make a different shaped flower. This one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure there's paint on every spot Make sure it's all painted. And then I'm gonna take my paper and do the same thing. I'm gonna press it down. Don't worry, paint comes off your hands. Lift it up and you'll have another flower. And then you could take your Q-tip again and your yellow paint and you can do swirls on this one. You can do dots. And then you can go back in with your markers and draw clouds or the sun or write your name with your marker. I might write my name down here and write Mrs. Altamar. See how I started with a capital letter for Mrs. and a capital letter for Altamar? And all the rest are lowercase. And then you have a beautiful painting that you could make with recycled things.
And then once it's dried, you can hang it in the window and your neighbors can see it and probably give them a big smile. So I hope you enjoyed our art lesson today and I'll be back with you another day. I hope you stay safe and I love you all. Bye.